Hey guys, what is up? I think it's two o'clock because I hear Dr. Phil. I love Dr. Phil. Who else loves Dr. Phil? I watch it every day at two o'clock. That's my show. Dr. Phil and Ellen. Those are my shows. But anyways, but anyways, I just got home from eating sushi with my friend Emmy. Um, her and her fiance got me a whole bunch of makeup because she actually sells unique makeup. That's the name of it. I'll actually leave her website down below where you can find all this stuff. But it's really great makeup. So I'm really excited to try this makeup now because like Emmy's skin looks flawless even though she has like no blemishes. But when she puts the foundation and stuff on it looks great. So she sells it but her and her fiance got me some stuff which was really sweet. So thank you Emmy and Tyler. I'll leave her page down below. But then as a lot of you know or you may not know I'm also um, an ambassador for Women's Best. I've been an ambassador for them for a couple months now and I just got in the mail a couple goodies so I wanted to do a mini unboxing for you guys show you kind of um, some of the stuff I got from women's best and then all this and also the makeup and everything I got from Emmy so you guys can check that out so here we go okay there we go the lighting's better over here so here's the package so this will be my first one so this is their new sports bra which comes in the gray and it's um yeah gray white exclusive sports bra and what I like about the sports bras is they're padded so you don't nip really bad because like in my adidas one or my nike ones when I'm cold it's like hello so this is what they look like the sports bras they're they're very supportive it says women's best right here and it also has like the padding as you can see um it's not like a super thick padding but it's not super thin so it's it's decent it's like a decent thickness um and then here's the back but it's really, the sports bras are really supportive. Um, I have a couple of sports bras that aren't so supportive, which sucks. I mean, I don't have the biggest, you know, little tatas. Caleb calls them, uh, what do you call them? I don't know. Calls them tittle bitties. Little tittle bitties. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, so they're not very big. Um, so these sports bras work really well for me. They're very comfortable. And lately my whole thing is I just want to be comfortable because a lot of clothes don't fit or a lot of stuff's too big. Um, so I got the shorts. I forgot I got some shorts. So they actually have leggings and shorts and sports bras, hoodies, and sweats. So these are the new shorts that they got. Um, these are smalls as well because my leggings are small so I because mediums are just too big. So these are the shorts. They're gray. Nice stretchy material but they're not see-through. You know like look at that. You, you can't I'm stretching the crap out of this you can't which is great so this is the front it says women's best has the women's best logo and then in the back you also have another women's best logo right back here um i love shorts i love my nikes um shorts but it's too cold so i won't be wearing these for a while till i gain some weight but they're that nice stretchy spandex material but they're not see-through see not see-through you know how some leggings you squat and it's like, ho ho, there's my crack or there's my thong. Or there's, you know, whatever. I, that's happened to me, I don't really care. But some people do. So we got those. Last package from Women's Best. These are the gray leggings I was telling you about. These ones are in smalls as well. Um, these are some of their new leggings. Um, are these in small? Yeah, small. Okay, so kind of hard to see it's out of frame so here's the gray and then all along it says on the side it says women's best and you have the three stripes here then they go down nice material and then also in the back you have the women's best logo and then you also have the stripes and everything again super stretchy not see-through and now for Unique, my other package that I got from my friend Emmy. So this is the package mine came in. Like this nice black leather package says Unique up there. Look how pretty and detailed that is. It has a little latch. So let's see what I got in my goodies. Ooh, so I got the Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in Scarlet, which is their lightest shade because hello, I'm Ghost White. Um, wow, this is nice. So it comes in a glass bottle, 
it's not huge um it's not like a huge foundation but none is but it lasts a long time so i've seen her use it before but it's one of those drop ones where you like drop it um but it's amazing stuff so we got that and then i got the beachfront bronzer with in sunset which is a really really pretty killer um so this is a really pretty it's a really pretty bronzer so it's the color of it has a little does that have some shimmer to it yeah it looks like it's got a little shimmer but it's really pretty then i'm not going to open this one but it's the moonstruck 3d fiber lashes so i know everybody's heard about these that mascara that makes your ash ashes your lashes look like you just flew away and then she got me some touch glorious which is the face primer so typical just face primer bottle this is actually it's a big this is way bigger than my um makeup forever one which is like holy grail but i heard this is even better so and then i got and then i got the moonstruck addicted shadow palette this is from her fiance tyler so tyler thank you let's check these out okay so it comes in nice Nice little package, they're not huge, but I mean, I have some that are so big and they take up way too much room. So this is actually, looks like palette three, cause there's a three on it. Ooh. These are pretty colors, holy smokes. Good picking, Tyler, wow. So this is the palette. Look how beautiful those colors are. Look at that shimmer. I'm excited with the shimmer and glitter. I have another palette, which is the Moonstruck Addicted 1 palette. Again, same packaging, beautiful, nice and clean, durable. Oh. Yeah, this, the, Tyler, good picking, but I have a feeling Emmy kind of, I don't know. Emmy pick them? Tyler pick them? Who knows? You two pick good, because these are definitely the colors I like. So here's another beautiful palette as well. Look at that. Nice neutral colors, shimmers. These shadows are what I'm about. And then it looks like I just have some eyeliners. So we have a Moodstruck Precision Pencil Eyeliner. And then we have another one. So I got two eyeliners. Um, one in Pristine, which is kind of like a, a whitish color. So that can go down here. And then I got Perfect, which looks like a blackish blackish gray or blackish brown if it'll focus there we go so yeah that's my little goodies today so tyler and emmy thank you so much for um my unique makeup and for everything i truly appreciate that go check out our shop guys i'll leave that down below and also go check out women's best so thank you women's best for my goodies as well and that is gonna be it until you guys see some stuff later but just know we got some good stuff coming. Hey guys, what is up? Today is April 15th and Russell, that little guy's birthday today. He is four years old. Everybody wish him a happy birthday. So it is officially three years since we have had Russell. We got him when he was um, one year and 11 months from the shelter. He was a little shelter dog. And yeah, so he's going to, um, his grandma and grandpa's for the day because Caleb and I are running around all day and then um, we have church and stuff tomorrow morning. So he's just gonna spend the day at his grandparents' house with my siblings and stuff and hanging out with them. Um, and then Caleb and I are going to a wine and paint and then I think some friends are coming over because we got some business to talk about. But yeah, it's a good Saturday. We're ready to go. I'm feeling great today. And uh, yeah. All right, YouTube, we're at Pino's Palette in Puyallup, Washington right now doing a little wine and paint. This was not my idea at all, it was all hers. She likes to paint and drink I don't excessively. Drink. Whatever, I don't and, even drink. Um, so it kind of goes hand in hand with her bad habits. Sure. So um, yeah, we'll take you guys along for the ride and um, yeah, stay tuned. 
So what do you have in Shia? Bloody Mary, uh, Coke and rum? Um, I'll probably have a... What are you going to warm up with? A strawberry lemonade. <laughs> oh. Alright YouTube, that's what we were trying to say. which was delicious. Now we are on our way home. Um, it's actually a pretty nice day out. It's, my car says 63. Oh, that's nice Jeep. Um, it says 63, but there's like a little bit of a breeze, so it's kind of nice. Um, so, are we going to the gym later? Yeah, you do, you need to. Yeah, I think we're going to the gym in a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just a really nice day out. So we're gonna see what today has to offer. Hey guys, good morning. It is Easter Sunday, so that means it is a great day to be alive again because Jesus has risen. Right, honey? Absolutely. So we are on our way to church. It is 821, but we gotta get gas because uh, we didn't realize we only had like nine miles. So we gotta do that. We're going to church, picking up the puppy, gonna see my dad and stepmom for a little bit, and then come home and get down to business. Right, baby cakes? Yep. So yeah, we're going to church, we're excited, and yes, we will see you after. She means car. Oh yeah. But we just left church. Um, it was an amazing, amazing service. Um, definitely, we definitely felt, we felt the spirit, we felt the presence, we felt God, and it was very moving. So if you're in the Washington area, if you're close to Federal Way, definitely come um, check out Grace Church in Federal Way. That's where Caleb and I go. It's just a, it's a great church and everybody's just so loving and warming and it's, it's a really good place, especially if you are struggling or you're not sure um, like about God or you're just, you're lost. It, it's definitely a great place to be. Um, that, that's what we call home. So yeah, now we are on our way to, man, this lighting is so bright. It makes me look so pasty. Because you are. I know I am, but this makes me look like Casper and I'm really not a Casper ghost. Like, look how bad this is. Okay, that helps a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, but right now we're on our way to um, my dad and Holly's. We're gonna go see the fam bam for a little bit for Easter and then pick up the puppy dog and then head home and get to work on some stuff and just enjoy our Easter. Right, honey? Yep. So let's go. What is up, guys? It, it, honey, do you know today's date? I never know the date. That's the uh, 17th. Today is the 17th. It's 11 o'clock. Caleb and I, say hi, honey. Hey. We are on our way to run errands. We, so, um, yeah, let's start off this Monday. It's gonna be a busy, busy Monday. It's actually gonna be a busy week. I think Tuesday's kinda of like our only down day and even on Tuesday, we're actually still somewhat busy. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a busy week. Thursday, I have my CT scans, my blood draw, and then Friday, I start chemo again. So, we'll be back on that chemo grind for three, four hours a day. It's not that long. It's like four hours, honey. It's Doxel, it's not a Bastin. Whatever. Hey guys, what is up? Today is the 19th. It's my littlest sister's birthday. So happy birthday, Ava. Um, it is 8.50. Caleb is on his way to the gym. I'm skipping today. I am completely sore. I've gone um, the last three days in a row. I've done buys, tries, back and legs and my body just poop. So today is my off day. Don't mind my eyes. I've been rubbing them because I just woke up. So yeah, today is my off day and um, well, I might go later. I don't know, we'll see if how I feel kind of like throughout the day, but it might be my off day. But tomorrow I have my CT scans and I get my blood drawn, but I'll definitely be going to the gym tomorrow morning before all that. Um, 
or even after. Um, and then Friday I have chemo, so we might even actually go to the gym. We gotta leave my house at 12, so we might actually wake up early and go to the gym so I can lift on Friday because it's a doxel, so I can't work out for five days after. So yeah, um, that's that. So that's kind of the update. Um, just know guys that there's going to be a new series coming, which is going to be pretty dang cool. So um, I'm getting all that set up and getting ready to film that next week. So a new series will be starting probably within two weeks. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is until I post it, but this series, it's still going to go on. The fight is still continuing because I am still fighting. The cancer is still in my lymph nodes. Um, so that's why I'm on chemo. I'm still fighting, but I'm getting better and better each day. And I know God is with me each day, and I know that he's healing me. In my eyes, I'm already healed, but we have to wait for the scans and everything. Um, but that's why I'm still doing chemo. So the fight is still continuing, but there's also going to be a new series to it. So the fight will be ending, but it's still continuing, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this. Don't forget to um, follow me on Instagram and subscribe. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. This is my fight.